Coach Mike Lund joining me here uh, prior to another Nova Scotia Major Band Hockey League season. Here to talk, Mike, about a player in your lineup uh, who's from South Korea. Uh, maybe you can start by with the pronunciation, his name, and, and how he arrived here. Yeah, I would like to start with the pronunciation, but I think I'll bastardize it as much. So we just stick to June around here. Seems to work and keeps everybody comfortable. As you know, he's from South Korea. He joined us here. His intention was to come over to uh, attend Newbridge and go on the ice with some fine uh, skill instructors there. When that option uh, no longer presented itself, he ended up here. I interviewed him just over there early in the summer with his mother and uh, told him about the fine program that we run here, and uh, he was interested. Very nervous about the whole thing, obviously being new and not understanding, but uh, you know, we had a few discussions, a few interviews, and his nerves came down, and uh, he's just been a pleasant surprise throughout the whole training camp. How difficult was it, uh, the paperwork? to get him released so that he could come over here. Obviously, he wants to come uh, to Nova Scotia. He told us why, but uh, how, how difficult was all, all the paperwork involved? Yeah, well, you know, it is quite a process to get him cleared through Hockey Canada, and I have nothing uh, but great things to say, both Kevin Mitchell from the organization and uh, Mike Fields in Hockey Nova Scotia and, and as well as Hockey Canada, making it a seamless transaction. And, uh, you know, we are able to get it all buttoned up before uh, training camp there, and he's officially you know, able to play in our league this year. So we're all excited and looking forward to that, yeah. I've been here for like nine months. And before that, I went to here for like my English and uh, my hockey for experience, the Canadian hockey programs. And at first, like my Sydney, like Sidney Crosby is my favorite player, as I said. Uh, I thought like going to his hometown would be pretty nice. So I visited here like in 2017 and I really enjoyed it. I had a good memory here, so I decided to move here for play real hockey. Tell me about when you first discussed the possibility of coming to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Uh, we uh, stayed in Toronto two years ago at the t as a t t tourist. At the time, we play just uh, visit uh, all around uh, Toronto, and uh, he uh, joined some uh, private uh, private team camp, something like a winter camp, and he realized how nice. Uh, the, that camp was in Canada, and uh, he has uh, been play, playing hockey since he was uh, six years old. And uh, just uh, it, it was amazing, uh, just uh, hockey for fun in Canada. That's why just uh, he dreamed to uh, dream to come to come here and to play hockey, and especially here. The only reason is uh, Crosby, Sidney Crosby, because uh, he's a hero. Like, during the summer, I was quite a bit nervous because everything was new, as I said. So, I don't know the coaches. I don't know the teammates. Like, this was the first Canadian hockey for me. And so I just tried hard. I, like, practiced hard. I trained hard. I went to the gym, uh, do some jump ups and stuff like that now but it's all done i'm gonna go ahead this is your first year what do you hope to accomplish what do you want to achieve in your very first year i want to be a better person i think and i want to be a better hockey player also and i want to be a good forward this year to like go ahead like to make my dreams come true yeah. what is your dream uh it's my playing in the nhl of course and playing the QMJHL or like professional hockey leagues. Along with his uh, effort level, he also is a very hard worker at becoming a student of the game and he's not afraid to ask you questions and question you as a coach why this and not that just to understand and uh, you know he has a great knowledge of the game and uh, you know I've offered him some literature and some books to help increase his knowledge and he comes with great questions so yeah he's uh, very knowledgeable uh, of the game itself. 
what's a reasonable goal for him in, in his first year, what he might accomplish? Well, I think, you know, everything is new for him. I think it's just to come here, get comfortable, uh, get comfortable in his, uh, with his new team and everything and in the league. And then as far as personal goals, you know, I could see him scoring 15 goals probably this year and complemented by at least, you know, 20, so maybe a 30, 35 point guy with a lot of speed for a first year. I think the biggest hurdle here is going to be learning the systems and the contact hockey right out of the gate at the major Bantam level. Once he becomes familiar and comfortable with that, then the sky's the limit for him. Mm -hmm.